I'm Mark Kelly live at Stoneman Douglas this morning. Students head back here to the class in about an hour right now. We're already seeing st some students, staff, teachers start to filter in this morning. A number of different law enforcement departments from all over South Florida here to show their support. And of course, in the last couple of weeks, uh, many of these students becoming political activists in their own right in Tallahassee. And that message has reverberated in state capitals across this country. Let's take a look at some of the progress that has been been made in Rhode Island. The governor single handedly through executive order signed a law to take guns away from people who can hurt themselves or hurt others. Vermont looking to expand its background checks. Washington state has a bill saying that you have to be 21 to buy a semi automatic rifle. And in red states, a different approach. In Kansas, there's a bill right now to lower the concealed carry age from 21 down to 18 with a permit. And in South Dakota, a bill to allow guns in schools and churches and get rid of concealed carry. And in Texas, no changes to gun laws, but they are revisiting their school's emergency plan. So clearly, what happened at this high school two weeks ago to this day has now had an effect in state capitals all across this country. And these students and what they have to say, their message is being heard. They're just starting to come back to class today. We're going to be here. We have live team coverage for you all day long. The superintendent is already here. Students, teachers, and a number of police departments as Stoneman Douglas tries to get back to some sense of normalcy.